picking up an autococker body is for sure the biggest thing you're gonna do when building an autococker. I mean, it's the most expensive part, it's the biggest part, and there are a lot of options. Over the past couple of years, we have clean cockers fully come back. I mean, Shock Tech are now offering full guns and parts, Inception Designer offering full guns and parts, and then you can always like scour eBay or M. Carter Brown and like look for a lot of used parts to build guns. So finding a body, whether it's new or used, is quite a task because there are just so many more things to choose from. And since when I think of cockers, I'm thinking of stuff that's old, right? Stuff from the 80s or even the 90s. Stuff that's gonna have that old style milling. So when I'm picking out a body, I want something that kind of reflects that old stuff and you know, helps me remember the good old days of auto cockers. So I don't want something crazy. I'm not trying to go with like one of these crazy new mech bodies or even one of these newer design inception design bodies that are just fancy. They're using these new machines and they just look cooler. And I don't like that. I want to go with that old school milling. So that's why I reached out to Meteor Paintball to get this M1 auto cocker body. Uh, and we should say that Meteor are kind of going away and kind of gone at this point. So they're not really selling bodies anymore. Um, you could find their stuff still on the internet though. So the Meteor body has that look that I like, but they're also made exceptionally well. They're made from very high quality materials and there has been a meticulous attention to detail when making these things. So you can see the M1 body has that style that I'm going for, has that old style look, has those more simple lines, has that cool sight rail that I'm a fan of, and just that simpler basic design. With these newer guns we're seeing, like say from the Twister auto cockers, or even like, you know, higher end paintball guns like the Die DSR, the machines that actually make those and machine those are very expensive. And they just weren't possible, you know, 20 years ago. That's why we're seeing this Meteor body look like those older guns from like the 80s and 90s. Just because the machines that those paintball guns were made on are just a little bit more basic. So like this video right here is of Numec making their Swift Axe Pro body. And it is crazy, crazy detailed. They also have the Pyro body for the autococker, but because this video is cooler, we're gonna just use the Swift body. And it is insane. So they start with a whole block of aluminum inside the CNC machine, and then it just gets milled down to look like this crazy, crazy body. And a computer controls this thing all the way through. We had these machines back in the 90s, like early 90s, late 80s, but they were just so expensive. You know, that's why we weren't seeing these crazy guns made. And it's really only in the last 15 years or so that we've had that price come down in these machines where it's made it actually possible for paintball manufacturers to purchase the things. That's why we've seen increased milling and kind of just overall crazier design on paintball guns. That Meteor body, while looking old, is really still using one of these high-end, crazy new four or five access machines. So to make this whole thing work, there are some more things that need to go on the outside. Well, there's at least things that we're gonna cover right now in part two of the autococker build. The vertical reg adapter, back block, front block, bolt pin, feed neck, and beaver tail. So the vertical reg adapter, back block, front block, and bolt pin are all gonna be Meteor. Mainly, like I said, because I really like the quality. Stuff's made very, very well. And then it kind of fits the overall motif of the gun, right? So like the vertical reg adapter has those lines around it. The bolt pin have those lines around it. So it kind of like, you know, goes together well. Bolt pin stainless steel, so it just feels really nice. And then the feed neck, I am gonna use the Planet Eclipse low rise feed neck. So this is gonna be the same feed neck that we're seeing on Planet Eclipse's new guns, like the CS2 or LV 1.5. They're a little bit lower rise than the previous Planet Eclipse feed necks, but they are literally like, you know, the best feed necks ever made. And then kind of helping keep that design on the rear end is gonna be the Shock Tech Beaver Tail. Still kind of has those circular designs on the outside, that beaver tail like portion, I guess, whatever is a circle. So it fits the design good. So next week in part three, we're gonna talk about all the stuff on the inside of this body. So we're gonna talk about valve, the bolt, cup seal, uh, hammer, all those things that go on the inside of the autococker. So make sure uh, next week, 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, Wednesday.